So, you got a trip, a load to Massachusetts, middle of January, not the middle, beginning of January. I'm going to take y'all along with us, see how it go. Now we're getting unloaded. Last time we did, we didn't record it, but last time we went up there, man, huh. Snow, Maryland, West Virginia. We had to really like take our time. I ain't gonna lie, I don't play with snow. I don't play with snow, so I took my time. Overstayed my welcome in the driver's seat. You know, you know what that mean. Um, just to get us through safety. It's gonna stop, but we had to. You gotta keep rolling through the storm. That's what life too. You gotta keep rolling through the storm. Get through it. You really only work like one week in December. Right after that, over two weeks. One week. We took the beginning of December off. Then we had Christmas, New Year. Took that whole week off. Back at it. New Year, man. New mindset. We had the mindset before the New Year came in. But my New Year's was always the time to reset, so it's cool. Play that game. The word of the year is consistency. Last year, the word I had was control. Having control of self, letting go of old things. When you let go of things that don't serve you no more, that's, that's control too. But this year is consistency. Consistency. So, consistency and <laughs> vulnerability. Me and my wife were practicing vulnerability, being open, more open with each other. We're best friends. So, if we can't go to each other about anything, and that's a problem. You know? It's already us against the world. So, vulnerability and consistency. Straighten up, yeah. During this week, we had to make some adjustments because the weather was a bit messy and hard because we had snow and it was just really hard. And because it was hard, we didn't record as much. It was really just trying to focus on the roads, get the here and there safely. Safety is always a number one priority for us. Although we like to have a lot of fun as a family, we also like to make sure that we take our work very seriously and that we make it to each location on time and in the safest manner as possible.
he can go wherever he wants. I'm just trying to go up there. Go ahead. I can't let the dog go. Thank you. Thank you, Grant. Don't go too far. We stuck here <laughs> until in the morning, I guess. We'll try again in the morning. This snow is not fun. go can't get away from the snow <laughs> man we just took a trip from eagle pass texas all the way to mcconji pa mcconji i think that's how you say it mcconji pennsylvania that's where we at now man yeah and everywhere we go just can't get rid of the snow it was in arkansas it was everywhere man virginia just can't get rid of it man my son came to me crying the other night saying how he's tired of, you know, he's tired of trucking, he's tired of living on the truck. Not necessarily living on the truck, but he's tired of being on the truck. You know, I had something logical to say, but in that moment, I just wanted him, you know, to express his emotions. So I was just like, yeah, yeah, I get it, I understand. You know, he ain't, I know when people are emotional, they don't want to hear the logic just right now. But what I want to say in my head was, you gonna look back on he going to look back on this and realize he had fun, you know. And it's it's not a long sacrifice. We're not gonna be out here forever. It does eat at him a little bit, but he gonna I know he's going to look back on this and realize what it was for. Like we became close as a family. We you know. We got our, we got up financially, we got up mentally, even, even content wise, like, even he's working on, you know, building his YouTube or whatever, like, you know, just little things like that, that he don't understand, he don't see right now, but sometimes the lifestyle, it definitely weighs a toll on me as well, you know, but I know it's, this is temporary, it's not going to be for long. And we just gotta make the best out of it, man.